G. Sohn, President of Public Knowledge. And I'm Harold Feld, Legal Director of Public Knowledge. So we're very, very excited here at Public Knowledge. As many of you may know, we've been fighting the takeover of T-Mobile by AT&T now for the past six months. And yesterday we got some very exciting news that the Justice Department is going to file a lawsuit to try to block the merger. And the most simply put, the Justice Department said three things. Number one, they said that this merger was going to take place in the national market, that basically four players, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and Sprint, and that when you combine the number two and the number four national wireless carriers, that lessens competition, that raises prices for consumers, it leads to less innovation, and jobs will be lost. So that was, that was argument number one they gave in, in blocking the deal. The second argument that the Justice Department gave was that T-Mobile is and has been a maverick competitor, one with lower price plans, with more openness. It was the first to use the Android operating system and that taking a T-Mobile out of the market would allow the other carriers to, again, raise prices, innovate less, so on and so forth. The third reason, and this in a lot of ways is the most important reason, was that all the benefits that AT&T was touting, were touting for this merger, that it would lead to a better network for them, that it would lead to greater build-out to 97% of the country of new 4G wireless services, that it would lead to build-out in unserved rural areas, could all be accomplished without taking out a low-price competitor like T-Mobile. Now, it didn't help things that AT&T accidentally leaked the fact that it would cost one-tenth of the amount that they were willing to pay to take over T-Mobile to do all those things. But in any event, that was a major finding in the Department of Justice. So we're delighted because the Justice Department pushed aside all the political pressure of AT&T and they just went on the facts and the law and they're going to block this murder. So obviously we're very happy given that we have been opposing this. So now I'm going to turn it over to Harold who's going to talk about what happens next. Okay, so what happens next? So you got two tracks. The Department of Justice is going to be in court. AT&T gets its day in court. Department of Justice has to prove everything they just said in the complaint. Uh, and AT&T will have its chance to say why it thinks Department of Justice is wrong. Meanwhile, on the Federal Communications Commission side, that's a totally independent track that has to make up their own decision. They're going to do either look at it and decide to have their own little mini trial, uh, or they're going to reject it, uh, or they're going to wait it out and see what happens with the Department of Justice uh, and their trial. But frankly, we think that the FCC is going to act sometime in the next uh, uh, month or two. We think they're going to do the right thing, uh, and uh, they're going to say that uh, there is no way that this deal serves the public interest, and they're going to deny it. So we want to thank all of you for your support of public knowledge, for letting the White House and the FCC know that you think that this takeover is bad for consumers and bad for America, and we'll be in touch with you soon to give you more details. Thanks again.